on 95.3 FM in Windhoek, Desert Radio. The Bold Boys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good. First of all, congratulations. Big, big win. How does it feel to be Mr. Gay Namibia? Yeah, I'm honestly surprised because mm-hmm. I didn't really think that I was going to take the title, but now that I did take the title, <laughs> I'm like, yo. Yeah? Have you, have, has, it, has it sunk in yet since Saturday? Not really, but then the whole interview part, so mm. now I'm like, oh shit, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Like, every morning I'm waking up, it's an interview or something, uh-huh. or a message, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, people know me. <laughs> <laughs> now, Daniel, why didn't you think that you would take the title? Yeah. I just did a lot of times, you know, being gay mm. really discourages you a lot of times. Mm. It breaks a person down, mm. and like, even if you see, like, on the Namibian um, Facebook if you read the comments mm. yeah 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 you will like they will break you down mm. mm-hmm. so i just stopped reading them mm. so but then i was like let me see as we were doing the training because all the contestants were together yeah i literally like got like a vision let me see i got the image that i wanted to put on our community as mr gay namibia mm. and i'm willing to you know take that into action mm. because when also i came out I have also been through a lot of things. I've been treated differently. And let me just say, family was not accepting. Mm-mm. But then yesterday, my mom called me and she was like, congratulations. Yes. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> like, yeah, my heart is like beating like, okay, oh, God. Yeah. Here it comes. I'm ready. I'm ready. And then she says, I'm happy for you. And I'm like, wait, what? Mm. Wait, what? And then in my mind, I'm like, is this my mother talking or someone else? Yeah. yeah. And she tells me, like, um, she's sorry that she couldn't be there because my mom is, stays in Angola, but she, she came to Namibia to do something. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she apologized that she couldn't be there and all that. And she said that she supports me, she loves me. And I was just like, what? Mm. I was in disbelief mm. because yeah. my mom has been in denial like for the longest. So yeah. I'm just really surprised that she actually finally came through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so now beautiful. It yeah. It gives me more motivation to, you know, know that I'm not alone and at least if my family is not with me, at least my mother is with me. Yeah. yeah. And you know, this platform, um, as you said, um, you know, it's it's giving uh, young gay people an opportunity to see themselves recognized in very public places, on the stages. Mm. And essentially, it's like you are putting yourself out there, right? In a society that isn't necessarily the most accepting and welcoming of people under the LGBTQIA umbrella. Um, so talk to us about having this platform. What is your vision um, um, during your reign as Mr. Gay Namibia, um, as you go represent Namibia on the world stage at Mr. Gay World when you go to Cape Town, what is your vision? What do you want to achieve with it? Okay, with this title, I honestly feel like I can achieve a lot. Mm. And my main target right now is to tackle all the uh, community, let me say organizations that were supposed to be taking care of the of any LGBTQ uh, child or any person mm. because when I came out the organizations did not help me mm. as a person as I was kicked out I had nowhere to go mm. they didn't help me they didn't tell me like what to do they just said um, apparently mind you this time I was grade 10 mm. so they told me like I should go find an apartment and they would just give me like one month um, electricity and food. Mm. Mind you, I'm in grade 10, so I have no job, I have no income, and it was difficult for me. And those, and then after that, the organization even literally brought out things that have happened to me mm. in the previous years, and they were like, that's why that happened to you. Mm. And now you're also wondering, these organizations, like organizations get money, mm. so where does all that money go? Why are they not helping? They have fundraising, they have whatever they do, but why are they not um, using that money to shelter the kids that I need? Why are they not doing what they're supposed to do? Mm. And even if you have to go to their organizations, the employees there are literally accountable. Mm. So if it shows that these people are accountable, 
then how much work is being done really? Mm. Because it doesn't look like any work is done. Mm. Mm-hmm. And now that I have the title, now I can come back to them and make sure that no other child goes through this or any other person. Mm. And I'm willing to fight no matter what it takes. And on the world stage, honestly, I feel like if I do take the title, it will bring joy to my people. It will literally encourage people in our community and show them that we are strong. We can do anything as individuals, no matter how old you are. Mm. And I'm also like the youngest Mr. Gay yeah, yeah. so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I just want to be an inspiration. I want to be a role model to the younger community because you hear everyone is like, I want to be the next Mr. Namibia mm. and what, but you never hear anyone say, I want to be the next Mr. Gay Namibia mm. or the next Miss Lesbian Namibia. You know, this. No, you never hear that at all mm. because people don't talk about it. It's something that people find, um, you know, discriminating or let me say something that is not right. Mm. Mm. So that basically makes people to shield themselves and hide away from the world. Mm. So I just want to help people to come out to, you know, thinking about being the next Mr. Gay Namibia, the ma- next Mrs. Lesbian Namibia yeah. or bisexual, yeah. whatever yeah. Yeah. you see. So I want to force on that. And, and and from what you've seen um, over the years, because Mr. Gay Namibia has now become a very established event, right? Yes. Um, it's nothing new. Uh, but from what you've seen, have you seen um, the former Mr. Gay Namibia and the event itself, um, you know, advance the um, the plight of minority rights and minority groups within the country? Do you think that the situation is getting better, particularly because of um, platforms such as this? Um, they are actually getting better because these platforms allow people that are not yet comfortable with themselves to see how other people are doing it, mm. to see how other people are encouraging them or building them up as individuals. So these platforms are actually doing more than we think they are doing. Mm. And for me, I never even thought about like joining Mr. Gay Namibia mm. until my one friend told me about it and I was like... I want to do that. And that time I was being rebellious. So I was like, uh, <laughs> I, I don't care anymore if my family judges me or anyone mm. judges So I was like, I'm going to go for it. Mm. And I mm. went for it. And now look at me. Like, <laughs> come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, Daniel, you know, um, as you've been talking about just some of um, the difficulties you've experienced um, in your identity over the years, right? Um Namibia, fortunately, I would say it's safer than other countries like uh, Ghana and Uganda and even Nigeria, where we are seeing people that identify within the LGBTQIA plus umbrella being arrested, uh, being specifically targeted by institutions of the state. Um, Namibia doesn't have things like that. But when it comes to safety, do you feel safe um, as a queer identifying person in Namibia, especially now that you are the face of such a public? platform uh, so let me tell you this um, so the host let me say the presenter on the day of the Mr. K Namibia mm. was telling us like the top 10 he was like guys you know that once you win the title you are demorphy like mm. you're on mm. top of the morphy it's like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. when <laughs> someone says your name like when someone says K mm-hmm. it literally it's just you that comes to mind, mm. you know, all that. So for me, I won't say that I do feel safe because, like, Namibian people are not really accepting. Mm. And a lot of times they, you know, you look at them, you talk to them, and they think that you are or that they are accepting, but they are not really. Mm. And as the title holder, I know that, yes, I am kind of scared because, you know, how Namibian people are. Mm. But then also, I don't want to be scared anymore. So mm. I want to be able to wear my sash and get Probably. into a taxi yeah. Yeah. without fear that the taxi driver will beat me up or people will come in and beat me up and mm. all that. And if that does happen, then I know that this is just showing that I do have strength. I'll get up and continue doing what I need to do. Mm. Yeah. Now, uh, I see we're running just a bit out of time, uh, Lazarus, but um, I want to talk about uh, this coming weekend. Uh, Mr. Gay, uh, Mr. Gay World does start on the 9th, right? Which is on Saturday, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, it's very, very close. It's around the corner. But, I mean, you showed us a glimpse of confidence there by saying, if I do win, right? Mm-hmm. But talk to us about how excited you are about that. 
If I don't hit that, <laughs> yo, yo, guys. maybe we should change that to win. If, right? if when I win, win. when I win, there, there we, we go. go, there we go. So, yo, guys, I literally, I will be blown away mm -hmm. because everyone will be blown away. I will not lie. Mm. We literally, I will be bringing the crown home, mm. guys. Like. There is something that is unexplainable. Like, mm. it's a feeling like, you know, you won't be able to express at that moment. Mm -hmm. But then also at the same time, like, yeah, I'm thinking like, hey, that stage, there's going to be a lot of people. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of other contestants that, you know, because I'm young, yeah. they all know like more than me. So I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. God. <laughs> <laughs> like, I pray. Eh? Like, I'm going to be doing like research and mm -hmm. all that. Eh? Like, yeah. on how to answer questions and all those things. Mm -hmm. But... When I do it, I just wanna make sure that the next Mr. Gianamavia has also the same um, confidence, and will also go to South Africa or wherever they need to go. And let let's pray that the next Mr. K World is held in Namibia mm. for once. Come yeah, on. actually, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then uh, perhaps parting words, uh, Lazarus, just for you know um, a young boy out there that uh, also wants to be uh, Mr. K Namibia like you, especially with you being the youngest. Hey, um, perhaps just uh, some encouraging words uh, for uh, the next Daniel Lazarus. <laughs> so to my next successor, whoever. He or she or whatever pronouns they prefer to be called, mm -hmm. I would advise you to always stay true to yourself. Never sugarcoat. Never be someone that other people want you to be. Never act a certain way that other people want you to act. Never change who you are for other people's um, joy. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Be happy with who you are because with who you are is what makes you who you are. Mm. And I'm proud to be the Mr. Gainer 2022. And I want to see our community grow. I want to see all of us grow together as a community and not also just as individuals because we are stronger together. And we even have our own quote that says, we are queer and we are here. Mm -hmm. So let's put a face on that. Let's put a head on that. Let's put our community on that. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on it because we cannot let other people define us let us define ourselves. 100%. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for making time to join us. Uh, this morning, you have a lot ahead of you oh, yeah. uh, coming up. And it will not only be Mr. Uh, Gay World. After the competition, even, you will still be carrying that sash and wearing that crown for your term. Uh, so we look forward to seeing uh, what comes up. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more from you. Thank you so much. Have a good one, Daniel. <laughs> All right. <laughs>